Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone by Shem Rakakwadash. My name is Yakaba from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. And this is probably going to name uh, Esau Thin and the Herd because people are going to be more and more replaced that are not front facing, like customers, and even front facing customers also. They're going to replace it with, uh, with robots. But that's the plan anyway. That's ultimately the plan. Now, how far Esau going to get with that, I don't know. All right, but Esau plans, you know, we're replacing the money, the digital currency, and replacing people where they don't need them physically there. All right, says so tech giant could replace workers with AI. It says IBM plans to pause hiring for jobs that can be automated in the near future the company's ceo told the outlet and we know how uh, evil and you know, sadistic esau is if you have this many people that are getting their jobs replaced you're gonna have to kill a bunch of them that's what the government wants to do so if you have people that you know can't you know work at mcdonald's and popeyes kfc certain big box stores gonna be it's gonna be automated because technically you can get robots to put the uh, items in uh, specific uh, sections. Like they can uh, measure the dimensions out, and they can place the objects there. All right. So you don't need a person for that. So you you would just need you know someone to maintain the equipment and uh, to supervise the machines. Or you can even have a machine supervisor. All right. It says here. IBM expects to cut nearly 8,000 jobs in the coming years and replace them with AI as the CEO of the U.S. tech giant Arvind Krishna has told Bloom, Bloomberg. Jump down to here. It says, um, where is it? in an interview published on Tuesday, uh, Krishna said the company plans to slow or completely suspend hiring for but back office functions such as human resources. Yeah, because you can just go to human resources on the app. I believe uh, that's what Amazon does. All right. You can contact human resources on the app and you, then you'll have like some, some type of, maybe a human supervisor walking around, making sure everything is in line. But you, you can greatly reduce the numbers. It says here, such as human resources, noting that these non-customer facing roles currently amount to nearly 26,000. Yeah, because they're trying to, ch they're going to change the nature of how they do business to bring in a new system. I could say easily, I could easily see 30% of that getting replaced by AI and automation over a five year period. Uh, AI could uh, affect some 7,800 jobs. So there you go. So this is this is a plan. You know, how far are they going to get? You know, through it. I'm sure they'll get they'll, they'll at least get to the beginning stages. But I don't know if they'll be able to com fully complete it. All right. But if they do, this uh, very well could be uh, intertwined into part of Jacob's trouble. All right. When in a time of uh, famines, distress. Because right, if you can't. Another way a famine could, could arise if, if you can't even buy food. So if you can't buy food, then that's a famine. They're actually raising prices of food and they're limiting the amount of self-checkout because people are stealing food and they're actively watching. All right. You have cameras everywhere to, re to reduce theft. All right. They don't have like one person supervising it, and they'll have the automated machines. All right, that they already uh, reduced humans, but with the self checkout. So this is a plan that that the Esau wants to carry about, and it's definitely a part of the plan of the New World, the NWO. All right, so I'll leave this article in the description box here, and. Let's go to uh, what is central bank digital currency, CBDC. Central bank digital currency 
cryptocurrencies are a form of digital currency issued by a country's central bank they are similar to cryptocurrencies except that their value is fixed by the central bank and equivalent to the country's fiat currency all right so it's fixed you know crypto that goes up and down based upon how many people buy in so it's fixed all right well technically this it can be it can go up too but you can say it's more more fixed than cryptocurrency cryptocurrency is volatile much more volatile than central bank and it's all controlled so anyway doesn't matter if it's fixed or not it matters what you what you can do with it at the time uh, let's go down here it says understanding central bank digital currencies fiat is a is a government issued currency that this is a vestopia investopia issued currency that has no backing from physical commodity like gold or silver all right it is considered a form of legal tender that can be used to exchange for goods and services traditionally fiat money came came as banknotes and coins but technology has allowed governments and financial institutions to supplement physical fiat money with a credit-based model that records balances and transactions because remember the governments want to track everything so you won't get off from paying taxes check everything going in and out and then they can discriminate they can figure out exactly what what you're spending the money on and where you're spending it they can track it more easily instead of uh, a fiat cash and coins now you have a, a digital credit based uh, fiat all right so it's about control all right that's phys that's the uh now the cbdc is just digitizing the uh money all right when it when the mark the motb comes in is this when the digital money you'll be able to access your money your fiat money through a chip in your hand all right that's the difference the central bank digital currency is the technology itself all right fiat money going digital all right the motb is you be being able to access the fiat digital currency via your hand through a microchip all right that's the difference between the central bank digital currency and the motb market of beast all right This is Mark thirteen twenty. It says, uh, "Well, thirteen nineteen. For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of creation, which Yahweh by Shem Yahushai created unto this time. Neither shall be. So this to the, the new world order is is not a time where everyone's going to be at peace. It's going to be a time of great affliction. All right. Why? Because they're going to get rid of jobs. You're going to have people that are not." going to be able to work all right well the jobs they want to work anyway because when once these jobs are automated Esau you know he does has plans to he, he legally can or during time of crisis he can organize work brigades maybe meaning put you into slavery he can he can uh assume the uh control of highways railways and natural resources and manufacturing he can take control of that during a time of uh, through the executive orders, he can assume control of those products and industries. All right, so he can put you into slavery based upon a crisis. All right. So, except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. All right, he's going to put he's going to go in you know different waves and cycles. You know, the jobs can be take can be taken away. Food can be shorted. You won't have money to buy food. All right. This is all going to come to a head. All right. And then they can control your money through the, a digital fiat currency. And then make the only way you can access that money is through an implant in your hand. And this is why the Lord said this, Mark 13, 20. And except that Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, has shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he shall shorten those days. All right. So the the elect are going to be secure. 
All right, because it says for the elect's sake. All right, so mentally the Lord is preparing us to to, to endure the time. All right. What else we got? Got Revelation. 13, 15, and he had power to give life into the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. So by worshiping, meaning you agree with the system by action, by compliance. All right. And part of that system is to take the RFID implant, the MOTB. All right, which is a mark of the beast, which is if you take, you will be completely annihilated through fire. The Bible calls it hell fire or, or lake and or lake of fire. All right. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, G5480, in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of or the name of the beast or the number of his name which is 300 which is 300 600 three score and six all right so you gotta have wisdom here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man as that's esau's number e the edomite's number all right he, he loves that number he loves putting it in products and flashing it in your face what's the number uh, six hundred three score and six or six 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 chi psi stigma. All right, chi chi psi stigma. All right, six hundred three score and six vain speculation. It ain't vain. Let's look up speculation. A form of theory or conjecture without firm evidence. No, we have evidence, so it's not speculation. Because we see it in the products. So this is where the blue letter goes off. On the last part, all right? Speculation say, oh, we, we don't have evidence to support it. Oh, so it's not speculation. Should I do it? Oh, let me get... Uh... <laughs> Defending the herd. It says, maintain humanity <laughs> under five... Oh, come on now. Maintain humanity under 500 million perpetual balance with nature. So what Esau wants to do, he wants to, if if he takes away the jobs and replace it with automation, meaning the jobs that can you know be be automated, not every single job, all right? You're gonna have a lot of people that gonna have to change and they the way they work. All right, some of them gonna have to become you know automate automated engineers or technicians automation to repair those machines program the machines set those machines up all right and if you don't have those skills or you're not willing to learn or the time frame doesn't make sense you're going to be in the welfare you're going to be uh having to get money from the state all right if you can't work a, a big box store job or uh, a driving thing i don't know if they're going to be able to get through that but uh because driving is the this, the most common job in America, I think in the world, actually driving in all, in all its forms, driving. So that's going to be hard pressed to replace that. Um, that would have to be a massive decade uh, transformation for that to, you know, fully be, you know, automated, you know, cars and automated. That's a, that's a feat to get that fully integrated. But, you know, other things, you know, they can replace like the big box stores and fast food places. They can easily do that shit. You'd be at a window. Like when the C-19 was at its height, you had to stand at Best Buy. You had to stand outside. You had to order, you had to order it online and then go there and then give them the receipt or show them your phone. Or I think you yeah, maybe had somebody there that could uh, take the order and see what they had in stock or what you wanted. That's all they need. They don't need you in the store. You can browse on a tablet or a phone or PC at home. All right. So you're going to have a surplus of people without jobs and without uh, skills that uh, they're going to have to get rid of. All right. This is why we need to be rescued from Esau. 
We need to get. We need to be saved. Right there. Just wah wah wah. You hide it. This is the way they, they hide things. Disney, six, 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 Disney. Yeah, they had to cr cross the eye. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's six, that's six in the eye, and that's six in the, with the uh, P. Now, this is uh, Mandalorian season three, episode three, when. The genetic um, scientist, clone scientist, he gets, I guess he gets, he gets captured in previous episodes and gets a memory wipe, and now he's being reformed. I believe on Coruscant, and he goes to see a, a therapist, or he checks. I think it's some type of therapist, where he checks in on him, and this robot is like the therapist. All right. The screenshots have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment it says thank you for continuing to be a part of the amnesty program are you able to maintain a consistent schedule so he's in therapy with the robot all right So you could be talking to AI. You you uh doing the, the tele um therapist or tele tele doctors typing what's wrong with you. You talking to a damn computer. All right, uh, maintain a consistent schedule. Are you experiencing any undue stress due to work, or personal matters? So this is a plan that they they wanted they want to uh, follow through with. And they're going to announce certain things that are going to sound crazy. Have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment toward the co-workers? Have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment toward your co-workers? That was all the screenshots I had. I wish I could play video, but, you know, they're going to strike it. All right. I even seen them strike uh, thump like screenshots. You know, so this is where they want to go. All right, they want to replace people with robots. All right, it sounds crazy, you know, sounds like some weird conspiracy theory if you're uninformed. But they they had they want they want to get rid of people. And they got they want to maintain humanity under 500 million, and they're gonna have a surplus of angry, broke people. That are going, they have to get rid of. They have to be able to control those angry, angry, broke people. All right, this is why we need Yahweh Shai, our protector, our self, our savior. All right, so I'll end the lesson there. Hope you're edified. Shalom.